All right, here we go. Question number eight from our 1316 homework number four in my lab math. They want us to solve the equation on the interval from zero to two pi. Now this equation is intimidating, okay? So let's break it down into pieces. Um, it's kind of like divide and conquer where we're going to evaluate, we're going to assess, and then we're going to attack, okay? Uh, the very first thing I notice is that these trig functions are not the same function. So that's going to be one thing we're going to have to do is somehow get these trig functions to all be the same trig function. And the other thing I notice is that we do have a negative theta. Somehow we're going to need to get that to be positive. Okay, so those are the, it's like we're doing triage, okay? Those are the things we're going to have to treat first. So, in order to deal with the cosine of negative theta, we're going to have to use an even odd property and to convert the sine squared theta into cosine theta, we're going to have to use Pythagorean identity. And I have those listed right over here, okay? So the Pythagorean identity, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one, I'm going to need to take that identity and I'm going to need to isolate the sine squared theta. I'm going to do that by moving the cosine squared theta to the other side. So that tells me that sine squared theta is equal to one minus cosine squared theta. What that also tells me, it tells me any time I see a sine squared theta, I can replace it with one minus cosine squared theta. Now, for the even odd property, it says if I've got cosine of negative theta, that's going to be the same as just cosine of theta, okay? That's the way the even odd property works for cosine. And so now we need to do our substitutions. Sine squared theta can be replaced with one minus cosine squared theta. And cosine of negative theta can be replaced with just cosine of theta. So now I've taken care of the two uh, immediate injuries, the two immediate things I need to deal with. The next thing I need to do, since this is quadratic, right, since I've got the squared, just like we did in college algebra, if you've got a quadratic, you need to set it equal to zero. So that's my next concern. So what I'm going to do to set this equal to zero and keep the squared term positive, I'm going to move the negative cosine squared to the other side. I'm also going to move the one to the other side. And I'm also going to distribute the six so that I can get rid of those parentheses. That's like three things happening in one step here. All right, so here we go, doing it slowly so you can see what's happening. We're taking the negative cosine squared to the other side. That'll make that a positive cosine squared theta, okay? And then if I distribute the 6 to the cosine theta, that'll be plus 6 cosine theta. I'm going to distribute the 6 to the 1, which will give me a 6. And then don't forget about the plus 1 that I'm also bringing over, which will make that a minus 1. Now that I have it equal to 0, I need to combine like terms. So I've got my cosine squared theta plus 6 cosine theta. And then here's my like terms that I need to combine. 6 minus 1 is 5. Now let's pause for station identification. If we now assess what we've got, we now have a quadratic equation. Notice it is in standard form. And this is really similar to x squared plus 6x plus 5. Now, if you remember from your college algebra, 
If you're solving a quadratic, the easiest way to solve is by factoring if it'll factor. And this quadratic will factor as x plus 5 and x plus 1, right? 5 times 1 is 5. 5x Five and 1x gives me the 6x. So this will factor, okay? Now, remember that our x was really cosine, right? x squared, x is cosine. And so where we have these two x's, that's really going to be cosine of theta. So what do we have? We've got 0 equals cosine theta plus 5, cosine theta plus 1. And remember, if you're solving a quadratic, once you get it factored, the next step is to set each factor equal to 0 and solve. So now we can say cosine theta plus 5 equals 0 and cosine theta plus 1 equals 0. We're going to set each factor equal to 0 and solve. So now for the first factor, if I move the 5 over, that's going to give me cosine theta equals negative 5. Remember back when we graphed the cosine waves? When we graphed cosine, remember the range of values was from negative 1 to 1. Negative 5 is not within that range of values. So this factor will not produce a solution. For the other factor, if I bring the 1 over, that's going to say cosine theta is negative 1. In the unit circle, cosine is x. So in the unit circle, where do we have an x coordinate of negative 1? Well, I've got my unit circle right here handy. And we do have an x coordinate of negative 1 at pi. And that is the only angle from 0 to 2 pi where we have a negative 1 as an x coordinate. So our only answer to this whole equation is pi. The only angle that's going to satisfy this original equation is pi. Now let's see if I lied to you. Bam! No, I didn't. Man, I hope that was helpful. That was a nasty problem. There was a whole lot of mathematics involved there. Might want to go back and rework that rewatch it and if you think you need to see another example of that like a similar problem another video to watch through feel free to leave that in the comment section below or text me if you'd like me to make another video so that you have another example to look at there all right i'll see you in the next video